it's just not even, it's not even like really, to me it's not like definition of like, it's not musical and I, and I like that. Everyone's always like, oh, that sound. It's, it's, I mean, I use the line six and I run it through distortion all the time. But this is kind of like, you know, been like, I don't know, my sort of sound for a while. And so the Bit Commander, uh, I was so psyched on it because now it's just, I mean, it's, it's even more like an, you know, it's like a freaking engine now. And it's also disguised. It's not like, oh, that's the line six. So that was like the thing I was, that's like the main thing I'm so psyched on. And then of course, you know, we can go to the rainbow machine, which I think is awesome. There's a lot going on there. You put a beat to that and, and, and some vocals over it and you have like a pretty sick sounding weird piece. So, um, I mean, the configuration is, you know, Again, like you know, it depends on where you put it in the in the chain, but I, I, I'm sure that there's like uh, multiple albums worth of, of music just in this one, <laughs> this in this one effects pedal with very little um, technical, you know, um, proficiency needed on on, on, a, on a stringed instrument or whatever instrument you're playing through it, even if it's like a synth or something. But, um, again, like it's also good too to be on the ground, you know, you can. Manipulate it while you know. I mean, my sound, I guess, for the most part, is is uh, without like just like a raw bass sound when I use any kind of effects, is trying to emulate, you know, a Moog Voyager, I, I suppose. And, and and fortunately, with stuff like you know, the Rainbow Machine Bit Commander, I can compete. So the ironic thing is like, the sounds that I'm trying to achieve are stuff that like Joey could just get with the Mondo Synth. So they're, they're, like, they're like more attracted towards um, tone pedals and uh, like distortion. You know, I mean, there's a lot I can do with the Voyager, uh, just through modulation or whatever else, but sometimes I really just want a, a pretty simple sound and I want to be able to, you know, just shape it in a unique way, something that's kind of outside of the synthesizer's normal sort of parameters. And that's what, you know, this um, effects loop essentially allows uh, me to do. I, I don't see it used terribly often, but it's really valuable resource which expands the potential of the Voyager and really allows me to use some of the more like crazy pedals, I guess, in, in a controlled way. Through this signal chain, I, I like to use uh, distortion quite a bit, and uh, it, it kind of adds like a layer of compression with the oscillators and gives it a little bit of gristle that I can kind of hit the filters hard with. So again, my basic sound, here's the bell rose. texture that adds to it. So I chose the Afterneath because it's a particularly unruly pedal. Um, when you, you know, turn everything up, it sort of like spirals out of control. And what I, what I kind of like to use it um, for is to uh, add some texture and depth to um, the oscillators in the Voyager. So what I do is I use the 
mixer out um, filter in jack which sends the mixed oscillator signal out of the Voyager through the effects and then back in through the filter. Why I like to do this is because it gives me a lot more control over the pedal and I can still sort of shape the sound, you know, really kind of control the release or gate it if I need to and I can kind of use it in a more controlled way. it a little bit. definitely recommend trying to use these effects in whatever unique ways that you can find. For example, like through like different different parts of the signal chain. Um, you have a lot of con uh, control with the synthesizer. You can really sculpt the sound in, in an easier way than maybe a guitar or a bass. And so, you know, um, it's it just kind of, I guess, will allow you to expand that sonic vocabulary a little bit. Anyone can fill up space, you know, how can you really uh, use them in a sense that they sort of lend themselves to a song, you know, rather than just being, you know, something in the background.